All right, I'm Tom, and I'm with Sean Cole, and we are in the Lamborghini Huracan for five laps. Is that right, Sean? Yeah. Awesome, buddy. Hell you yeah. excited? Yeah, I'm super pumped. Yeah, this car is a lot of fun <laughs> to drive. So uh, once we get out on track, just like your other car, double orange cones to your brake zone, so just make sure you're braking firmly but smoothly from the green orange cones all the way down to the single green turning cone. Start turning in, slowly releasing the brake, and applying a little bit of throttle to balance the car to the apex. Once you're at the apex, then you can start accelerating as you're unwinding the wheel and moving the car all the way to the outside of the track. Once the steering wheel straight, track straight, then you can go full throttle to the next set of brake cones. The mirrors are all adjusted for me, so I'll worry about what's behind us, you worry about what's ahead of us. Car comes up, they want to pass us, I'll let you know. Place my hand on the wheel, you keep your hands on the wheel too. Hazards on, car goes around us. Hazards off, car goes back to you. Catch a slower car, you want to pass them, we'll wait for them to give us their hazards, then I'll tell you when to pass them. And then the paddle shifters, we do all, all of our upshifts under acceleration with the right paddle and all of our downshifts under braking with the left paddle. Okay. All right, and then you'll be able to go as fast as you want as long as we're doing everything right, staying on the right lines and all that. Okay. If not, we'll slow it down, fix a few things, and then we can go faster. Okay, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, what's that? Uh, so the backstretch chicane, um, I was braking, and then, so you're, I mean, you kind of straight line that one, right? I mean, and you're, what, driving here? Yeah. And then straight line through it? I mean, it's like, it seems like once you make that right, the left is no challenge whatsoever. Right, so so what the way that I do it is I brake a little bit I, up to the turn-in cone, uh -huh. and then I turn in just a little bit early, and then I get right back on the throttle so that I can go right through it in a straight line. And staying as And far staying left. all the way to the left to set up for okay. the next one. Okay, next truck corner I was just always laid on, but the final corner, I didn't know what to do. Okay, so being that you sim race, like what you would want to do in your head is to go all the way out to the right to set up for it and right. then turn and do a late apex in. Yeah. The way they teach us to teach you guys is to do a double apex where you stay all the way to the inside uh -huh. and you dive straight in uh -huh. and then there's the green cones out in the middle. Right. You, you, you dive out to the center and then rotate and then come back to the other apex so you're right. making like a triangle. So in and my the, mind should I imagine like there's an apex cone to the left, the width of the car? Like the right side should be at the cones and like... Yeah, well, so no, there, I guess that's why I was trying. trying well, there, but there is an there, so there's two apexes. The, right, no, no, on okay. where the middle cones are on the right. right hand side. Yeah, I want to get as far right. Well, I, you, you really just want to be center. So where those cones are at, uh -huh. you just want to be close to the green cones right there in the middle. Okay. And then rotate the car, and then and then head back to the second apex. Okay. And the reason they do it like that is because the timing system is set up right there. Right. So. When you die, when you when you stay on the inside like that and you dive straight in, uh -huh. you get a better time than if you go all the track all the way out to the right to set up for the corner. Okay, that slows you down. Okay, that's why they have us do that. Okay, but I mean it's kind of up to you. Whatever, whatever's more. I just ended up kind of confused. Yeah, I was like my instinct was doing one, right? And he was yelling another, and I'm yeah. like, well, we're I'm kind of now we kind of do both. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. The way they want us to tell you to do it is to, to dive straight in. Uh -huh. But if you if you do a, if you if you race or you have a racing like idea of race line and all that, common sense would tell you to track out to the right to set up for that turn and make it a really late apex and then right. come back. But if you want a faster time, I'd say stay on the inside and dive straight in. Okay. Is is what you should do. Okay. And then treat it as two laps. Exactly. Copy that. Okay, okay cool. And uh, any questions besides that? Nope. All nope. right, sweet. So full on the brake. Right hand upshift. All right, you already straighten the wheel out. We'll put you in manual and straight out and off to the left. Stop here. Yeah, I just test the brakes and then pull oh, it to the right. green flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks like after that car goes, we'll be good to go. Give him just a second to get a little bit ahead of us. Okay, you're good. What a beauty day for this, too. Yeah, exactly. Up shift. One more time. Perfect. Third gear. First apex on the left. Staying all the way to the left. Setting up for your next turn. Start turning in. There you go. Squeeze on that throttle. Unwind all the way up. Up shift.
it and go over the red and white curbing right there on the left. Right. So that I can get on the power sooner. So oh. maybe try that. Okay. Lemons is fun. Yeah. 
I do a, quite a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, I run in a few different cars, and next week I'm going up to Monterey to look for a new car for the third team that I'm on. Oh, cool. <laughs> but it's a bit different than this. Yeah, where do you live at? Uh, LA, Thousand Oaks. Do you know about Super Miata? Have you heard of that? No. Is that like V8 Miatas? No, no, no. So, uh, and then just, yeah, head straight in. I'll, t I'll tell you once we get all stopped. Right? Oh, I like this yeah, car. Uh, uh, okay, so straight in, in the middle right there, and then just go across the right and yep, just to the right of the white one. best friend of 19 years. Oh yeah? We met at Russell Racing School in their mechanic training program. Oh wow. And stop. Before it became Audi. Cool. So far as the same. The wheel, no, no, let's turn it all the way to the left. Take your foot off the brake. All right. Dude, Sean, nicely done, bro. Thank you. That was awesome. You Thank did a you. great job. Um, <laughs> yeah, now you can tell the other guy I can drive. Yeah. He thought I was an idiot. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, no. You know, the thing is, is like, <laughs> I, I knew right off the bat when I saw you, like, you're aggressive, but I, I saw you could catch the oversteer and you could do whatever. So I was like, I felt like I was fine and safe. Right? I didn't have like too much worried, but <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I mean, there's really not, not much I would say. I'd just like maybe slow down to go a little faster, you know, right. like, like maybe like, I think at the end of the long straightaway, uh -huh. you were like when you were turning in for that and you were going over the red and white curbing, I think you'd try to go right back to power too soon and you'd get a little understeer. Okay. And it wanted to push you out all the way to the cone. Yeah. So just waiting a second longer and just easing into the throttle, like rolling into it a little bit more, right. I think would give the car a little bit more bite and you'd get into that, you know, you'd, you'd, I think you'd get through that section a little bit quicker. Okay. But I mean, other than that, it was freaking pretty good. Right so, on. Anyway, right so on. I'll stop the camera and tell you where to go.